It's ridiculous beyond ridiculousness. Bye. It's a rather beautiful morning out here. It's Saturday morning, everyone. Start of another vlog. What a beautiful start to the week. Well, the vlog week anyway. Beautiful start to the weekend. Hector's happy is outside. He's waiting for Lee to come out because we're having a cup of tea outside. It's so lovely. bird just shut on my knee. No. Bastard thing. <laughs> There's a strange dog. He's got a chew in his mouth. And he's not going to eat it. He's going to try and go and hide it. He's looking for somewhere to hide it. Don't put it in the water, you nutter. Hector, what are you doing? Are you excited? Well, a little bit. I've never been to Brighton. So. You're going to the gay capital of the UK, aren't you? Apparently so. Are we allowed to say gay? <laughs> your, your sister's booked you into the Homo Hotel, isn't she? Am you I allowed to say that? Why can't I say that? This is a serious question. Why can't I say that? Because gay hotel doesn't rhyme. Homo Hotel rhymes. So why can't I say that? This is, I'm being genuine. Why can't I say that? See, I'm not homophobic. Phobic. I love lesbians. I do. They're yeah, absolutely awesome. It's just the sword fighters and chocolate sausages I'm not really that keen on, to be fair. But each to their own and all that. You'll put me off me eggs. Shut up. Well, so what are you going to do? Is it going to be like a rave weekend, Lee? I don't think so. Is it going to be like an old fogey weekend? <laughs> like a bus trip to Brighton? <laughs> Somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. So you're doing karaoke and dinner? Yeah. And a stripper? You can't have a stag do or a hen do without a stripper, can you? That's, you know, that's so yesterday. The everlasting gas bottle is still everlasting. So I had a shower yesterday, so did Lee. I had cheese on toast. Lee's had a shower this morning. I haven't bothered. And it's still going. Good, isn't it? What energy crisis. <laughs> Lee? Yes, sir. If you leave me now, <laughs> you take away the, I don't know, the chickens. Please go in. Go in. <laughs> go on. You're going on the chitty train, aren't I you? Am. Oh, this bad guy's a ton. Well, I don't know. You're going away for a night and look. It's taking a suitcase. I'd have took a carrier bag. I've got Prosecco. <laughs> uh, root beer. Root uh, beer? Yeah, Is that for the hangover? Later, yeah. Pineapple juice for the hangover. Do you think you're going to let yourself down again? No, I'm fine. You will. She's a, she's a puker, Lee is. an egg box. <laughs> I'm going, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and there she goes, I say. Right, it must be beer o'clock then, bye. I have to say, we're very lucky to have this little spot on the marina, aren't we? 
It's resplendent. What a beautiful day. Bye. Did you have a nice weekend, Lee? <sighs> Didn't mop it. I forgot my handbag. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Bye, hate you. Well, isn't this absolutely fabulous? This is the first proper hot day we've had, I think. It must be 23, 24 out here. I've just seen Lee's just got to Brighton. So uh, she'll be going to the beach. Oh, she takes some photos and stuff. The miserable bugger didn't take a camera with her. Said it was too much responsibility. <laughs> like the cameras are about a third of the cost of her phone. Maybe she'll do some on her phone, you never know. Yeah, but so, yeah, so she's there. I've just been watching a E Grand Prix. The Formula E, it's very bizarre. It seems a bit fake to me with all these fan boosts and uh, other weird stuff. And uh, they go through this fast zone so they can get a faster lap. It just seems contrived to me. It's not, I don't see, I'm, a, I'm one of these sort of people who just like pure racing. Um, I don't like F1 with DRS either, to be honest with you. I think, again, it's just trying to improve the show because the cars can't overtake each other. Might as well just make it a single series thing, eh? It's just nah, all too much. I actually have a question because it's such a lovely day. And um, this is a bit of a weird question actually. I do notice um, some people on Twitter, that I know kind of through this and other things, that have comment on this thing called chemtrails. And it's something to do with the planes pushing out chemtrails. I don't know what it's really on about. I don't know if it's a rabbit hole I want to go down, but they're claiming that it changes the weather or something. I don't know. What's it all about? Can someone educate me? Let me know what it's about and is it worth me having a little look at just for a bit of interest? Because I know I do know that it was reported that the Chinese, for one of their military days or whatever, managed to change the weather through spraying something into the atmosphere. <laughs> so what do people think these chemtrails actually are? That's a genuine question. I'm not being a conspiracy theorist or a nutter. I'd genuinely like to know. But anyways, it's such a nice day. I've done so well. What was it? Getting toward, well, it's 3.20. I'll be watching the FA Cup, I guess. I think that's on a quarter to five. But I've done really well not to have dilly dillies yet. I tell you, especially if it's warm. I think it's about time that um, it's hobgoblin o'clock, isn't it? So I have got my first one. Honestly, this is my first one. Dilly dilly, everyone. Oh, oh, <laughs> nearly got the thing in my mouth. Happy Saturdays, everyone, I say. Happy Saturdays indeed, I love it. Bye. Well, I thought I'd uh, settle down for the afternoon and watch um, Chelsea versus Liverpool in the FA Cup. And I watched the uh, like 10 minutes of the pre-show and all the build up and the God Save the Queen and all that sort of stuff. And oh my God, the virtue signaling is rife in this. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm actually pissed off with it. Football to me has always been a working class man's game, or woman's. I've got to put that in, haven't I? But no, we have to have all the politics brought into it, the I love Ukraine and all the kneeling down and all that sort of nonsense. It's all too much. And I'll tell you what, we've got Eurovision Song Contest tonight, haven't we? Here you are, I'll make a prediction. Ukraine win it. We'll see you tomorrow, won't we? Or later on tonight. I might be wrong, but I bet you. Bye. So far, it's Hector one rats nil. I'm afraid to tell you. He's doing what a Jack Russell does. So I had to take that out of his mouth earlier. Bloody horrible hound. <laughs> he also got hold of a mouse down at the water's edge. And he gave that a couple of shakes. And that ended up in the water. <laughs> so I don't know how, if that survived. It is bloody trouble, I'll tell you. Hector, he must be all about you, sir. Hector likes Rob, doesn't he? They all like peanut butter. That's just because you're as stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're as stupid as each other. <laughs> dilly dilly, by the way. Dilly dilly. Happy Good Saturday night. evenings. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and there's Matt making a bloody noise. It's only a game, so you better believe I'm right. He's I'm off. I'm gonna be snookering you tonight. Big break! Not even short to say. Bye. <laughs> well, look. We've got more naughty people on the naughty bench. 
But Rob, Rob has let us down, hasn't he? Any he, Elliot? Rob's he's let us down. Off, yeah. He has. He's let us down. He's left all his alcohol here. One nip he's had vodka. one. He, he's had one pint, and he's had to go back to go and s go to sleep. <laughs> Base plant in his bed. Bless him. <laughs> well, we've had a, had a rather splendid day, I say. We've got a nice sunset coming. That's Rob's boat, Waverley. Fabulous little boat. So we're waiting for it. I'm here now watching the end result of the Eurovision Song Contest. Remember I said Ukraine will win it? It's between us, the United Kingdom and Ukraine. <laughs> I told you Ukraine would win. What sort of bollocks is this world going through? <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Come on, it's ridiculous beyond ridiculousness. Bye. Well, this is more like the weather we know, isn't it? We couldn't have two nice days in a row. It was a bit sunnier earlier. I've just heard from Lee. She's um, should be back in Flitwick about half one, so that's three quarters an hour away. And it'll take her from there another hour, I guess, before she gets home. So she should be here half two, three o'clock or whatever. Depends whether she gossips or gasses with uh, Maxine for, for a bit. Anyway, I guess that's it for now. Bit of a downer, isn't it, from yesterday? And I didn't get hangover either. I did probably drink a little bit too much, to be honest with you. But I, I blame um, other people. They, they're bad influence on me. Bye. Oh, and i just done all the washing up. And um, the gas bottle's still going. It didn't run out. <laughs> hey, bye. Hector. Are you shattered? It's all he's done all day so far is lie down. He always gets like this after he's played with Jack. Jack and him run round like nutters. Then uh, the following day, Hector just sleeps and skings. I've just been having a chat with Elliot and Fiona. And uh, I said, Rob, not, not Rob and Waverley Rob, uh, Rob Vodka and Guinness Rob. He doesn't even remember going to the shops last night to go and get the vodka and the Guinness. And he doesn't remember sitting down at the bench and he doesn't remember getting back to the boat. <laughs> he buggered off at half seven this morning off somewhere else. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good effort, Rob. Let me tell you, good effort, fella. Good effort indeed. <laughs> Bye. I'm so excited. I've um, bought Farming Simulator 2022 for me MacBook Pro Maxi Voodoo thing. I'm going to soon be in a tractor and farming and harvesting. Oh, I say. Happy days. It's only going to take about three days to download on our Steam Powered Internet. Bye. Happy Tuesdays, everyone. I can't believe it's, it's nearly 3.30, actually, I think. I've been a busy bunny this morning with work and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so I haven't really done anything. I didn't do any filming yesterday. I'll tell you, it's bloody horrible weather. Absolutely atrocious. Have a look at this. It's much nicer today. In fact, the weather station saying it's 26.9 out there. So that's obviously in the sunlight, not in the shade. So, yeah, it's quite stuffy, a bit murky. So yeah, so what did I do yesterday in the pouring rain? Well, I did a load of farming on me farming simulator. It's all too much, I say. I've been ploughing, I've been um, cultivating, I've been seeding, I've been taking stones out of the ground. I've been doing all sorts of stuff. If you ask Lee, she, I've always said to her, I wish I, I wish I was a tractor driver. That's what I've always wanted to be. It was kind of on my bucket list. So I've never actually driven a tractor. And I, I'm quite sad that I haven't driven a tractor. So hopefully, you know, um, some kind person out there. If you've got a farm around Gayton or Milton Mouse or around this sort of area, Northamptonshire, and you want a driver for the day, I'll come and do it. I'll come and plough your field. 
Honestly, I like a bit of ploughing every now and again and sowing my seed. It's good fun, you know. No, but seriously, you know, I need, don't mind if it's an old vintage tractor, so ain't really easy to drive. Yeah, I need to be able to drive a tractor before I'm gone off this planet, I reckon. So yeah, so that's a cracking game, isn't it? That's running on my MacBook Pro Max thing, because um, that's um, native to the M1 chip. I know it's nonsense, but don't it look good? It's awesome, I tell you. Anyway, I guess um, if the weather holds out, which it's supposed to do, we might have uh, dinner al fresco tonight and a couple of beers on the naughty bench. So we've been quite um, low on the beer front in the last couple of days. I've been a good boy, I say. Yesterday was actually a bit depressing. Another thing that happened yesterday was um, loot and lost up at Huddersfield. So that means we're out of the playoffs. We won't be in the Premiership. But what a brilliant season they've had. So yeah, it was a bit sor a sorrowful last night, but proud of the team. Anyway, that's it for now. See Lee in a bit, bye. Oh, and one other thing. I had a bit of a disaster. When I got a little bit upset about looting losing, I stood up quick and marched off to the toilet to have a wee. And um, I broke my glasses. Look. I broke my nice little oval glasses. And they're not fixable. They're proper snapped. It's all too much, I say. But it's OK. I've got a grey pair. <laughs> Bye. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to be eating dinner out here because it's uh, I can feel there's a storm in the air, the wind's getting up. I reckon it's going to rain in the next hour or so. And plus, Lee's not having dinner here tonight. She's having dinner with her old dear Pat. So she's having hot pot and vegetables or something. I wouldn't eat that anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to find myself something in the fridge. Wonder what's in the fridge? Yeah, <laughs> bye. Beer. Look at this. I thought I should just take the um, umbrella down because it's getting windy. Look at all the bird shit on it. I suppose that's what you get for putting it up under trees. <laughs> Dirty buggers, I say. Looks like the um, bird feeder needs refilling as well. There's no fat balls left. There's nothing. There. I think the pigeons are getting them now, the buggers. The rats definitely aren't. Yeah, need to do a bit of weeding around here as well. Bye. 36.6 degrees in here, bloody hell. Well, it was only a five or 10 minute shower. I've had to come back outside because it's so bloody hot in the boat. It's so um, close, isn't it? It's almost touching a snow. Yeah, 36 odd degrees in the boat. It's just ridiculous. Our boat gets so warm, you wouldn't believe it. I don't know why our boat's so well insulated. I mean, it's fantastic because in the winter, it, it really is good because it keeps us, um, pretty warm to be fair uh, and when in the height of summer it tends to regulate okay it just seems to be every now and again it gets so hot I think it's because we've had there's other things on like the what should we call it, the computers and that they do actually produce a, a bit of heat you know so maybe it's just that well maybe I'm just going through the change and I'm getting hot flushes <laughs> bye I guess I ought to have a beer to cool myself down in it it's the only thing. It's the only thing I say. I mean, I've been quite a good boy the last couple of days. So it's deserved. Bye. And I've done loads of farming, so a farmer has to have a beer at the end of the day. <laughs> and there we go. The rain has arrived. Just call me Paulus the Weather Gnome. And here's Lee. I was hoping to sit outside. So was I. Stuck inside, boiling all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting rather moist out here, isn't it? it is. <laughs> oh, you steam the camera up, oh. I said. Bye. Bye. Lee? Yes. Are we sitting out in the rain? We are. <laughs> we were sitting on the back of the boat, weren't we? We were. And it was getting a tad moist. <laughs> and it's quite way. cold, actually, that rain. <laughs> yeah. You're a dirty bitch. So we come un onto the naughty bench with the umbrella up, look. Well, I don't think we'd get very wet here anyway because of the trees. Well, I suppose it depends what we're doing. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's dilly dilly o'clock, everybody. Ah, yes. <laughs> you've had our day, haven't you, darling? Yes. Tell everyone what you've been doing because I don't think I've told everyone what you're oh. doing apart from leaving me to cook my own dinner again. <laughs> I've been decorating at Pat's, my lovely little old dear. See, so so, she's uh, a decoratorist. <laughs> they probably know that because of my sister's decorating. 
So yeah, she wanted a hallway done, so I said I'd do it for her. So uh, I'm on day two, <laughs> probably about four or five. <laughs> so. That's all good, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, yesterday was hot because I'm steaming. I had the steamer. Um, getting the wallpaper off that was about that thick. <laughs> It's a bloody it's a good nightmare. job she don't smoke, innit? That would have been minging. <laughs> I'll tell you. I remember when I used to smoke uh, in at Rollfield, and uh, you, you don't actually realise how bad the smoke stains everything, do you? Like the, the ceiling well, the was minging. the last house I decorated, she was a smoker, and yeah, that was bad. Yeah. You think you'd washed it all off. You know, I washed everything down. You know, sugar soap. Sugar soap. Sugar soap. Sugar soap. <laughs> everything down before I started painting, but then it kind of when I was doing the ceiling it kind of turns the paint a funny colour even though I'd washed it it's still there if you know what I mean mm. I like to wash it quite <sighs> fast with soap <laughs> not sugar soap not sugar soap well I wouldn't want to wear it away there's not enough of it as it is I'll tell you I don't think you've been as busy as me though Lee. Oh no, I'm sure I haven't. I've been doing bunting for Disney, oh. for Virgin. I thought we'd been farming. Well I was getting to that. <laughs> I've been doing lots and lots of um, different sorts of bunting today and another couple of different arty farty warty oola bits. And then at 3.30 I think it was, I thought I'd had enough so I went, <laughs> I, play, I did some farming. Line the Here's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Come on, Tar. <laughs> Hector, leave his willy alone. <laughs> yeah, they're not too cheesy about those things. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, it was nearly 2 0 to Hector earlier, but he was on his lead and he was very stealthy, to be fair. And he was watching this route. I was watching as well, and I thought, he's going to have a go at that. Uh, but I knew his lead weren't long enough and then he went for it and if his lead was long enough you would have had it wouldn't you Hector but I don't really like it Hector I don't really like it fella but I also don't really like having a trillion and five rats around here either what do you think Hector Hector are you mighty this to ein machtiger Hund see we're still outside, by the way, as obviously. <laughs> it's quite cold now, isn't it, Lee? It's cold, it's windy. Got windy news. <laughs> but it does feel like there's a storm, proper storm coming, doesn't it? <laughs> My flaps are zipped enough. It would need something rather large to get inside. No, no. That's wrong. The flaps are tight. You couldn't put something large in them. That's what I meant. Because they're, they're tighter than normal. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, Hector. Holy <laughs> Hector. He's peeing down now. We're running into the boat. I'm about to let Lee in first. I'm going by. Love you. See you later. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hector's licking my legs. Bye. I'll tell you, it's 6 30 in the evening and I've only just finished work. I would have to say that this is the first day, seriously now, this is the first day since the initial lockdowns that I've actually earned a proper day's living. What I would say was on par to what I was earning before we got locked down or thereabouts. So, yeah, that is actually how bad it really has been for us guys here. So that's been nice. It's actually been nice to do a proper full hard day's work. So I'm pleased with that. Yes, I feel you feel better about yourself when you've done a proper day's work because I don't get bored then, you see. Well, I've got backache from sitting at the computer for too long, sitting a bit awkwardly because I've got a bit of a bad back anyway. I got up with a bad back, so I was sitting trying to stop it hurting. I think it ends up hurting more, doesn't it? It's bloody age, I tell you. It's all too much. What else have I got? Um, my phone contract um, was just about up. So yesterday I ordered a new, I well, I don't know, what was it? An iPhone 13 Pro Max thing. Basically just the newer version of what I've got already. 
So that means Lee gets into her phone as well because then she, she gets passed on mine. And this is business anyway, so and obviously I need a phone for business and I have to have an iPhone for certain reasons. But I'd really bore you if I went into that. <laughs> but anyway, I do need to be in the Apple ecosystem for the jobs that I do. So what I thought I might do for the next vlog, I haven't got it yet. I mean, it has been delivered to the manor, but um, as I haven't got a car, I can't go and get it, can I? So I'm going to rely on Lee and she's going to be late again tonight because she's at her friends doing their hair. And then I don't think she'll get it tomorrow. Although I suppose if she went in early to Pat's to do the decorations, she could then come home early and collect everything from the manor. But it's probably going to be Friday, so I'm not going to see it till Friday. But anyway, I'm digressing a bit and moaning. And what I was thinking of doing was for the next vlog, because we normally start them on a Friday night, Saturday morning, I'm just going to use the iPhone. For the whole vlog, I'm just going to use the new iPhone to film everything. I won't edit it on my iPhone, I'll, edit, I'll still edit it on my um, laptop. But I thought that would just show you what you can actually do with the phone and obviously um, let me play with something new. And then I might do a separate video. If it turns out well, I might do a separate video showing you how I did it and how you can get that sort of quality out of a mobile phone. Because I'll tell you what, you'd be surprised. The quality is actually mostly better than these action cameras, but not, I like the action cameras. They're handy because you've got the microphones and lights and everything on them. But anyway, I think that's about it. I don't think I'm gonna to film too much more tonight. Um, yeah, Lee, Lee should be on, her, I'm gonna try to look for a watch. Lee should be on her way home soon. Um, I think I've got to put the chicken in the, in the fridge, I was gonna say in the fridge in the oven when she phones and I bet the bloody gas runs out when I uh, put the chicken in it'll be my fault that the chicken isn't cooked you watch it's all too much but it's amazing it's still going I tell you it's still going well I tell you we've had a right bloody hullabaloo I went to get the old piri piri chicken thing it's on a tray with plastic on the top of it in the fridge and because uh, that's what Lee told me I had to put in the oven and I got it out and half of the bloody thing's frozen so it's against the back of the fridge and something weird has been going on in the fridge. It kept popping itself open because there's too much in there. And um, so I think the condensation of that just made it frozen. So half of it was frozen. So we can't have that. But I did try and get the plastic top off it. And that all just stuck to the blooming baking tray that's round it. So that's the worst design ever. So you put that in the oven. All that bloody plastic's going to melt and we're going to die. So we're not having that. She's, we're going to have to have chips on the way home or something. So I can't cope with it. It's all too much. But I should tell you something else. It's even worse. Even worse than that. One of me hobgoblins is frozen at the back of the fridge and all. It's all too much. But I'll tell you what though, the gardener's just been again. He's done a really nice job. He did it with a hand mower today. Well, not a hand mower, a push along you know, petrol mower rather than his sit on thing. And he's done a really nice job. It's actually beautiful out there. So yeah, it's a shame it's shitty weather again and we can't sit out there. That's it, bye. Well, I just um, thought I'd have a little look at Instagram again because I don't really use it much, not anymore. I don't know whether any of you lot have noticed that we don't put the follow us on Instagram little thing on our videos anymore, because I kind of got the up with it. And I'll tell you what, I went back on it tonight, just posted one photograph, and it's just a pile of shit now. Since Facebook took it over, it's just full of ads and irrelevant things that say suggested post. I used to absolutely love Instagram when I used to look at people's photographs. I love photography. I love looking at people's photos. I love seeing people's talent for photography. And now all I see on Instagram is a load of bloody ads and a load of suggested posts by people who are basically making money on Instagram. Absolute bollock stuff. The only way we change all this is to stop bloody using Facebook and stop bloody using Instagram. And then we won't get all this shit. They make billions, you know. And we just get a shit experience now. We're kind of, it feels to me like we just sold our souls to the devil. So I won't be posting much to Instagram. I wish there was an alternative decent platform. So yeah, I mean, I love our MeWe for, instead of Facebook. But it's just, what a load of old shit. I'm really disappointed, to be honest with you, because I do love my photography and you all know I do. It's just all too much. There is some good news though. Because that chicken was frozen, we're having a kebab. So I'm having a mint sauce and chilli kebab. <laughs> I'm so healthy. Bye. Here, I just thought, as a little addition to what I was just saying there, 
I think what's actually happened is I'm probably more sensitive to adverts and all that sort of crap now because since we changed to MeWe and do everything on there, there are no ads on MeWe, there is no tracking on MeWe, there's none of that shit on MeWe. So what I suggest to all of you out there is to follow us on MeWe. And maybe we should have a little thing where everyone just posts their photographs up there instead. And then you won't be absolutely bombarded with all the bullshit adverts. It's really simple if people are willing to change, but people don't seem to be willing to change. It's such a shame. It'd be great if the people who do MeWe could make an alternative to Instagram. Now there's a thought. Or it'd be great if I was a trillionaire and I could make my own bloody platform. Bye. morning it's Thursday morning it's about 10 to 7 and I'm off down to uh, do some more decorating today um, I need to go early today because we've got parcels arriving so uh, I need to get back in time for the manor and that shuts at half past five so uh, uh, I was gonna get up at quarter to seven but then I was awake at six o'clock so I thought oh, sod it I stayed in bed for ten minutes and then thought oh I'm just getting up so I got up took the dog for a walk he's gone back to bed um, say goodbye to Paul, put my bits in the car, and that's it. I haven't even had a cup of tea yet, so I shall have a cup of tea when I get there. Oh, I'm just waiting for the bridge. It's now open, so I'll see you later. Right, I don't know if you can see that, but um, where I've filled little holes and things, the filler has actually come through the paint, which is a pain in the bum. So I'm going to have to uh, sand that back a bit and then paint it over and then hopefully it'll be all right. That's never happened before. So uh, it must be weird filler with weird ingredients. So I'll see what happens later. I'm probably weird, but this is a bit satisfying that you're painting a door that's not been painted before and then you're putting some nice white gloss on it. And it looks so much nicer. <laughs> this is only the first coat so obviously it's not covering very well but I will put another coat on the next time I get, get here because yeah, you have to leave six hours between coats I'm just doing behind the doors because I need to sand the other wall and uh, hold on I'll show you I forgot to turn the camera around so I don't know if I can see myself <laughs> Let me turn it around. I'll do it if I can do it. No, I have to turn it off. There I am. Oh dear, I'm looking very red. It's very hot. I've got the front door open a bit. This wall I need to sand really to get rid of all these bits because I don't trust that the blooming filler will won't show through this side. So that's why I'm doing the doors, and then I'll sand this in a bit. And because uh, Madam still isn't awake yet, so. Uh, I thought I'd better not make noise, although she won't hear me, bless her, because she's deaf. Well, it's quarter to eleven now, so <laughs> maybe I will. That'll get her up. <laughs> oh, it's hot. So I'll finish that door, then I'll come out here and do this. And then I'll carry on. <laughs> bye bye. I'm such a donut. I didn't give an update of my decorating. I've Paint, repainted the walls. I sanded off all the horrible, nasty, um, rubbery, plasticky filler. Um, painted the walls. I've started on the woodwork. Painted two doors. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Doesn't seem a lot, but it was a lot. <laughs> I still did eight hours today, so. But I'm now at the manor. If I twist it quickly, <laughs> we've got seven packages. So I don't know what Paul's been ordering, but uh, I think there's a puzzle there for Connor. Although he's got two of them already, but he was missing the farmyard one, but we couldn't get it anywhere. But so I'm going to sell the other ones on 
and then you know get a bit of money back because <laughs> so, <sighs> I think now he's got three construction ones <laughs> but never mind <sighs> oh, I'm knackered I hope my beer is cold in the fridge I'm gonna go home now and have a beer and open all these packages excellent I'll see you later Hector have a guess what I got loads of goodies I'm not sure what it all is I know that's my phone and I know that's um, my vape mixing kit stuff so I can make all my own stuff I'm sure there's cases here I don't know what they are I've got no idea what that is or that well we'll see bye I think we're gonna to have to do a bit of trimmage of the trees again we're gonna have dinner al fresco aren't we Lee Lawson you a tired bunny I am <laughs> you've had a hard day haven't you you've done some filming today haven't you she has done some filming it'll be before this anyway because it's earlier than this I forgot to give you a light, didn't I? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So what have you been up to then, Lee Lawson? Uh, decorating, painting walls, uh, starting on the woodwork. That packs um, we're talking about. Aren't yes. You? Doors. Take, you're, you're following in the footsteps of your grandfather, aren't you? I am. He was a painter and decorator for Greater London Council as it was. Weren't he a clippy as well at some point? No, that was my, my other granddad was a inspector on, a, <sighs> Grandad Harry was an inspector on the buses. Grandad Alf took us, took us everywhere on a number 159 bus in London. But he was the decorator, painter and decorator for Great London Council. My dad was a clippy. He started out on the buses. Is that why you like buses? Yeah. <laughs> My granddad Harry worked on the buses for 33 something years. So, um, they, he had a car, but then granddad Alf didn't have a car. He learned, I think he learned to drive in the army, but then didn't have a car because you didn't really need one in London. So, uh, and the Green Line coach, they used to bring us up, bring them up to us in Luton. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's why I like buses. <laughs> Lee, maybe we should sell the boat and buy a bus oh, and yeah. live on a bus. Yeah, definitely. A, would you like to live yeah, on a route would. master? <laughs> would you? Yeah. yeah, but the cost I'm always of looking fuel at the is a risk now. A, a tank full of diesel <laughs> in our boat lasts us a year. <laughs> a tank full of fuel in a route master will last you 27 miles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. My timer has gone off, so I need to go and the check. The gas is still working. Check, the gas it? is still on. I've it's been checking it every 15 you. minutes. Yeah, I've got a spider or something in my wrist. Yeah, I, had I just well, went in there and I went like that, and then a spider was on my arm. Yeah. I'm going Bye. to check the dinner. Bye. There we are then. Now I can get to the boat without poking my eyes out. Hey, Hector. Not that you'd poke your eyes out on the May. A clear path to the naughty bench, I say. Bye. Well, look at this. We've got piri piri chicken, haven't we, Lee? In your own special flavoured rice, I say. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good effort. I'm tired. <laughs> Paul's watching the football. So I'm going to bed. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> well, I think we're going to call it that for this. Going to call it that for this. I think we're going to call it. You know what I mean, we're going to say that's the end of this vlog because this has gone on for quite a long time. I think we're at about 40 odd minutes now. And um, as it's Friday tomorrow, and look, I've got my new iPhone thingy, doodah. So um, I'm going to play with that tomorrow and do the whole of the next vlog just on an iPhone and see how that goes. Anyway, night night everybody. I um, hope you have a fabulous weekend, a fabulous week to come. And you know what's coming next. We love you and we'll see you soon.
Bye.